everything you need to know about Australia's new skills in demand visa. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest updates on immigration policies around the world. Today, we're diving deep into Australia's highly anticipated visa program, the Skills in Demand Visa, set to launch in 2024. So, let's get started. Targeting temporary skilled migration to address skills needs and promote worker mobility. This will be achieved by the introduction of the new Skills in Demand Visa SDV. The Skills in Demand Visa is Australia's response to the growing need for skilled workers in specific industries. It aims to attract talented individuals from around the globe, who possess skills that are in high demand within the Australian labour market. Now, you might be wondering, what makes this visa program different from existing ones? Well, and like some other visas which prioritize occupation lists, the Skills in Demand visa focuses on specific skills that are critical to Australia's economic growth and development. Here are some key features of the Skills in Demand visa. Targeted skill sets. The visa will target individuals with skills in high demand across various sectors such as healthcare, technology, engineering, and more. Streamlined application process. The visa aims to simplify the application process, reducing red tape and making it easier for skilled professionals to migrate to Australia. Pathways to permanent residency. Successful applicants will have the opportunity to transition to permanent residency, providing a pathway to long-term settlement in Australia. The SDV will be an employer-sponsored visa. It is expected to follow the same application process of existing employer-sponsored visas, such as the Temporary Skills Shortage Subclass for 182 visa. That is, sponsors will need to lodge nomination applications that will accompany the worker's visa application. It is likely that the SDV will replace the current subclass for 182 visa as the stock standard employer-sponsored visa solution. The SDV will have the following features, visa period of four years, three pathways, specialist skills, core skills, and essential skills. SDV holders will have a pathway to permanent residence. Periods of employment with any approved employer will count towards permanent residence requirements. Holders will also be allowed to apply for permanent residence through self-nominated independent pathways. If sponsored employment ends, STV holders will have 180 days to find another sponsor. They will be permitted to work during this period. Applications will be backed by a processing service standard, enabling employers to fill vacancies quickly. Specialist Skills Pathway The Specialist Skills Pathway will be a new streamlined approach for highly skilled specialists. To ensure Australia can quickly and easily recruit top talent in areas of need, it will be available to applicants in any occupation, except trades workers, machinery operators and drivers, and labourers. Salary threshold in this pathway will be at least $135,000 and no less than Australian workers in the same occupation. The salary threshold will be indexed annually. A service standard of 7 days median visa processing time. The Department of Home Affairs will establish a monitoring mechanism to ensure that employees are not paid less than their nominated salary. Core Skills Pathway Most temporary skilled migrants will come through the Core Skills Pathway. It is designed to bring in the skilled employees Australia needs now and in the future. It would be available to applicants whose occupation is on a new Core Skills Occupation List CSOL. At the time of writing this article, the CSOL is yet to be published who will be paid a market rate salary that is at or above the core skills threshold starting from seventy thousand dollars the core skills threshold will also be indexed annually essential skills pathway this pathway will target lower paid workers with essential skills the government is primarily considering the pathway in the context of the care and support economy consultation will soon begin to develop this pathway this pathway would be distinct from the core skills and the specialist skills pathways. These arrangements would be sector-specific, capped, embedded with stronger regulation and minimum standards. Sponsors, parallel to streamlined access to overseas workers, new measures will be put in place to strengthen employer compliance and tackle worker exploitation. The government will explore a model for employers to pay nomination fees on a pay-as-you-go basis e.g. quarterly or monthly. This is aimed to make hiring a new migrant less onerous. Currently sponsors pay fees in advance to nominate overseas workers for employer-sponsored visas. 
a public register of approved sponsors, including the number of migrants sponsored and their occupations, will be developed to assist migrants wishing to find a new sponsor. Salary thresholds will be indexed annually. Streamline job advertising for employer nominations. The validity period of adverts will increase from 4 to 6 months. The government will also consider moving away from employer-conducted job advertising towards independent processes. Support migrant workers who are suffering by workplace exploitation by making it easier to make complaints and protections against visa cancellations. The skills in demand visa will make it easier for employers to hire overseas staff. It will also offer visa holders greater job mobility and simplified pathway to permanent residency. In conclusion, Australia's Skills in Demand visa presents an exciting opportunity for skilled professionals seeking to live and work in Australia. With its focus on targeted skills and streamlined processes, the visa is set to play a crucial role in addressing labour shortages and driving economic growth in key industries. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more immigration news and updates. Until next time, take care.